here's the Magneto and uh, it's got a build date there of September 64 by the looks of it which is in keeping with the engine I think it's a little earlier this engine I believe is a 66 so three screws and nuts uh, two here and one underneath they're 3 sixteenths and I've now removed the auto advance unit from inside the timing case so should be a straightforward exercise of just removing the magneto now with these three screws it's the bottom one that's real tricky to get to and I don't know what the sparks like with this what I'll be doing is um, putting this on the bench at some point this magneto and uh, checking see what can see what the spark looks like It's a bit of a mess but it should hopefully clean up very well. Um, I'll clean everything out. I do need to get some high tension leads as well. Uh, I don't know if you remember from one of the earlier videos but the original cables were actually gnawed away by a, by a mouse. And here it is again after a bit of a clean up. Just got rid of some of that junk. And um, I'll need to order the cables before I can start testing it on the bench. I'm gonna borrow these high tension spark plug leads uh, cables from the Magneto and spark plugs off my Triumph just to see if I can get a spark with this Magneto plus Actually, the leads on my Triumph are way too long. I never did get around to that, so this will be a good opportunity to remove them. I'm not quite sure what to expect with this Magneto. I hope I can get a spark, but we'll see. Uh, it, it didn't look too bad when I took it apart. Um, I've given it a good clean, um, checked inside the cap. I replaced the brush on the end of the cap, not that that matters for this. And the pickups are cleaned inside there and the ring just with a, a few buddies so it's sort of superficially clean for now um, I've borrowed a couple of wires some high tension leads wires from my Triumph and these are ones that I've soldered earlier and so I'm going to try those in here and then I'll put the drill on the end of here and then try and spin it it does spin I've tried it already um, but again I'm not sure if it should be as stiff as that and then we'll see if we're going to get a spark I even clean these caps as well with soapy water they look a little rough but they're not too bad so they should fit right in it's a K2F magneto just a standard magneto Yep. Not that 
that matters but I'll put the plugs on okay and just grab a couple of spark plugs okay so let's see how we get on we've got the magneto fastening the vise I've taken and fastened the spark plugs to the high tension leads and um, they're ground and connected to the vise with this clamp I'm just going to fix or attach my the end of my drill to the magneto start spinning and hopefully we'll we'll get a nice healthy spark on both of these plugs okay here goes Oh my goodness, that could be one less job. Let me turn the light off, see if that makes a difference. Just for um, visibility. I'll turn the studio lights off. Let's see what this looks like. Sorry about that. I just played the video back and I realised I was getting uh, electromagnetic static effect on the microphone that I had uh, attached to me so um, I'm just going to take another quick video um, a little closer up this time as well and just to show you that spark so here we go again Alright, thanks a lot guys, see ya.